Hello, and welcome to the third part of our original series, If These Walls Could Talk. Today, we're going to be talking about Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Diller was born Phyllis Driver in 1917 in Lima, Ohio. She was an only child. She studied piano at college, and there she met her husband, Sherwood Diller. They married in 1937 and had five children, and for the next 15 years, Phyllis spent them as a mother and a homemaker. In 1952, they had moved to Alameda, California and were struggling financially, so Phyllis found a job with a local broadcasting company. Um, and at the end of that year, she'd made several 15-minute segments for Bay Area Television uh, called Phyllis Dilla, the Homely Friend Maker. Phyllis appeared in a brightly colored house coat and gave absurd advice to housewives. This was the genesis of the zany stage persona we all came to know. She was a pioneer in the field of women's stand-up. She was an inspiration to the likes of Joan Rivers and Ellen DeGeneres. She was loved by audiences for her machine gun rapid fire routine of gags, which she wrote herself that sent up her looks, her fictitious husband, Fang, and her terrible performance as a homemaker and a spouse. Um, she, her white fright wig and her crazy metallic dresses made her one of the most recognizable figures in show business. And some of her famous one-liners include, housework can't kill you, but why take the chance? And one surefire way to get rid of kitchen odors is eat out. I wish. Um, she was championed by Jack Parr, who had her on The Tonight Show several times, and Bob Hope, who had her on a couple of dozen of his TV specials and three of his movies. She played the title role in Hello, Dolly! on Broadway after Carol Channing, just for a few months at the end of 69 and early 70. And then she did a lot of touring and summer stock, and she ended up in Ivoryton in 1978 in a show called The Las Vegas Show. Phyllis died in 2012 at the grand old age of 95. The reason I chose Phyllis today was for Krista May, our managing director. Krista recalls her mother talking about sitting next to Phyllis Diller on Old Saybrook Beach when Krista was just a wee thing having swimming lessons. What we don't know is was Phyllis there because her grandchildren were in the class? Perhaps her daughter had a summer home in Old Saybrook? We'd love to know. So if you have any memories of Phyllis Diller in the Old Saybrook area in the 60s and 70s, please let us know. Thanks, Phyllis. It's been nice to meet you.